all schools teach values and morals, um, but as a, as a drama teacher, as an HSC drama teacher, those values and morals can be really challenging within the texts that we have to study, that our, that our drama kids have to learn. And I guess the exciting thing about doing that in a Christian school is that we challenge the kids to look through a Christian perspective and not just take these things as normal or as um, part of the world, that really to challenge the way a Christian sees these these issues that come up and these moral dilemmas and these these um, these, these these torturous moments that these characters find themselves in. How would a Christian deal with that? What, who does a Christian turn to when they have to face these things that come up in the text? It was never a really hard decision for us to bring the kids here to school and, and especially knowing that they spend seven hours of a day in, in an environment that isn't that could possibly not be Christian, that was just not good, not what we wanted for our children and knowing that our, the teachers at, at this Christian school would um, influence them in, a, in a, such a strong way to love Jesus, to follow Him, that was just fantastic for us. We were just overjoyed knowing that there was such a school that would do that for our children. If you want them to be conformed to a non-Christian viewpoint, then send them to a non-Christian school. But I think sending them to a Christian school means that they get conformed to um, the way that we're trying to bring them up at home. Um, they get their mind transformed uh, and those beliefs and systems that we have in place in our lives that the children believe get reinforced at school. So even though you have beautiful teachers in other schools, still their influence over your children is inadvertently not for God. And that's the ones that are nice and, and, and don't, are just neutral. Um, education is not neutral. The people that you're learning from are going to influence you and education is not a neutral thing, it's actually a powerful thing. And um, so if you have it, you may also have teachers that are actually opposed to the gospel. And I would hate my children to be under that influence when they're not backing up what I'm saying from home. And really it's, it's my job to educate my children. Education isn't a right, it's a privilege. And it's my job to educate them, but I actually can't do it. I need teachers to help me because I don't know all the information. So that's why I send them to school with the people who are trained to do it. And I want them in the care of someone who has, is coming from the same page as me. That's so important to me. And not just the teachers, but the whole school community, all the other students and the parents of those students, they're all on the same page and it just makes things just a lot more smooth and that's what I like about Christian schools. Parenting is hard enough and when you have teenagers, I want like-mindedness amongst the other parent bodies so that my child in their natural state will start playing me off against other parents. I want other parents to be supporting me in things like parties and just knowing that when I leave my child in the care of another parent that the values that are being instilled there are similar, maybe not the same, but very similar to what I believe and that's very important to me. Having had teenagers, I found that it was a, a great community, it supported us, it was wonderful. We did think the same out and we managed to get our children through the teenage years in unity, which was a good thing. And now I'm doing it again with a seven-year-old. So I'm looking forward to what's coming. I'm not seeing the teenage years as being so scary because I'm part of a community that's supporting and believing what I believe.